Hey guys. Well, right outside of Coombs is this place is called Little Qualicum Falls. Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. Hey guys. Well, right outside of Coombs is, this place is called Little Qualicum Falls. Which, you know, I sketched out being in a wheelchair. I'm like, oh God, another place is not accessible. So apparently this is accessible. So we're going down the path right now. We tried the, the lower parking lot and it got really sketchy really quick. So this is supposed to be wheelchair friendly. So I just got on the trail here. So it's, I'll tell you what it's like. I guess we'll experience it together. So little Quali Qualicum Falls, sorry, it's a mouthful. I love, like, there's lots of pine trees, like in the Shushwap where I film all that stuff, but here it's pine trees and then everything's covered in moss. It's just so cool. I love coming to this side of the island. Like, it was, the other side's really cool being in Victoria, but this is more connecting with nature, a little, you know, bush therapy and just it's so amazing the stress just just melts off you so it's just starting to spit a little bit so you might see a little bit of raindrops on the cameras but i'm getting a little worried because i'm seeing stairs but maybe not uh temperature today like i was, I was saying from coombs is it's probably 9 or 10 degrees. It's starting to spit a little bit, but you know what? It's not summer. It's it's early in the year, so just appreciate coming out here and enjoying this and being able to, you know, have a grover, being able to load grover in and out, like load the lieutenant in and out of grover, like, like quick and easy is like, it's pretty awesome. Whereas before we were planning everything out, okay. How long is it worth me unloading? Not, you know, here where I can just jump in. It's like two seconds. So far, this path is super wide. It's gravel and it's a little bit bumpy, but it's pretty good. Like, there's a day use area that's kind of got a covered um, picnic place and stuff, but you guys can hear the falls. Lisa and Kenzie are running ahead of me. They both got their umbrellas. I might put my rain jacket on. I don't know. Being in a wheelchair, your 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 um, pants always get wet. So, real world world problems, right? Look at these moss covered branches. It's just so nice. The water's just gushing, I'm guessing, you know, all the the winter runoffs starting to happen, so. Send you guys up for the upper tree view. Kenzie McGee, what's the opinion? She says not very cool, so we'll find out for ourselves. Hey, shocker guys, it says it's closed to swimming. I might need Kenzie's help to get on this bridge. Can you give me a little push and push? Hold on. 
how do I get up here? Wait, one. No, but it's just not funny. One, two, three. There we go. This is accessible. Accessible park you got here, boys. Saying our selfies, our world famous selfies. I'm gonna go up the other side of the falls over here. I'm gonna do that. So, this is on the way to the Eagle Grove. This is the middle fall of the falls. So accessibility wise, I mean, I'd give it like a six maybe. It's nice to be out in nature, you know, the only problem was getting on that bridge, but other than that, it was easy. I don't know how many falls there is in the world where you can come on your wheelchair, especially your tri ride. You guys hear that? Isn't it great? Austin Power is trying to get off the bridge, but that's okay. I'll do a little time, uh, time shot getting out, but if anybody's in a wheelchair, definitely doable. There is that bump getting on the bridge, which I have a funny feeling that's probably fixed by spring because it's probably caused from the runoff from the water. It is worth coming to, like especially if you're a nature lover like me, getting out and just getting that fresh air. Even with this rain, like there's just there's nothing beats this. All in all, I think if you're, if you're visiting the island, I definitely recommend Qualcomm Falls. I mean, where else in the world are we going this super wide trail? And it's very accessible. Getting in here, here with Rover was super easy. It's, it's paved. And most importantly, it's free, which is just kind of heard of these days. Thanks so, thanks so much for going on a journey with me, guys. Um, if you thought the video was good, then I, then I hit the like button and subscribe. If, if not, I just appreciate you watching my videos. I come out with new videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. 
Friday being a short, short and Wednesday and 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 day being the, the normal length videos. Thanks for going on this journey with me and have have yourself a great afternoon. Green eyed and bright at 18, a face from mainstream, a walking daydream, ice cream, sweet life of peaches and cream.